Gentlemen, we haven't done an unboxing for a long time, so we're back again. This is me, SD100, like always. And today we have the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. This is the 8 gigabyte model with a Core i5 processor inside with Rolls Gold. So, this is Microsoft's competitor from Apple MacBook Airs and and the Apple Pro, the Apple iPad Pros, or all kind of that, because Microsoft wants the slice of the pie, slice of the market share, and we're going to be seeing if Apple does it better or Microsoft does it better. We're going with Microsoft because this is going to be a college laptop from the go, and the colleges usually use Microsoft programs, so. It just makes sense for it to run it as best as possible on a Microsoft laptop. And then next video in two weeks time, we will give you an update of how it's been with the laptop. And we're going to see if it was a noticeable improvement from other kind of laptops we own. So let's start the unboxing. Do you want to come closer? So we have a very nice box. Grey in the inside with some white. It's very detailed. This box, so you've definitely put effort into it. And then we have the Rolls Gold laptop with the Microsoft logo on there, the grey. Then you have just have a pull tab. You just take it off and lift it up. You have the back of the laptop. Then you just sort of just. This is a little bit sticky. Just peel it off. Like that. And uh, seems to be attached from the inside of the laptop as well. Just the back or the front. It's very hard to tell with this. This is the front as well. We'll take off this plastic film. Um, as you can see, there's a very, very compact keyboard we're working with. If you want to come closer, the, the arrow keys have been very squeezed in and we have the standard cap lock, small enter keys and it's very compact, it's trying to fit all the keys you possibly can in a small form factor laptop. This laptop has a brilliant screen, two microphones, tiny ones if you can notice and then we have a camera, very tiny. Most laptop cameras are not the best though. So then we'll have a look at the I.O. of this laptop. So we'll put it down. Very nice, very nice grippy rubber at the bottom to make sure it doesn't slip. We have the surface port there for all surface devices for charging. And then we have a USB-A, USB-C. This might be lightning. I will find that out. I'll maybe just put it down in the bottom when I'm editing, if it was lightning or not. And then we'll have 3.5mm headphone jack. So it's a very nice aesthetic of this laptop. It says Microsoft on the bottom as well. So they've definitely put some lots of craftsmanship into this form factor of this laptop. We'll set it aside. And then we have two boxes, two slots. Just take these off. Like that. This one seems to be the power cord. I am correct by that. I'm just going to take it out. We have the power cord. And then we have the power supply. And yes, we do have the service connector, what is also magnetic, if I believe. Yep, it is magnetic. It'll just snap into place immediately. Just you have to make choice snug. If I show you that on this side, it is magnetic, so I can just oh well, let me get some slack. Oh, the snap in place again. So it's a MagSafe. This is 39 watts, so it'll charge quite quickly. And then we have the brick, you know the kettle lead sort of style thing. You just plug it in like that. Pretty easy. And then we have the second box design thing 
integrated in the box. And this seems to just be information on the manuals. They are indeed. It shows you if this has Windows Hello as well. It's very important features, whereas face recognition and it has fingerprints on the power, on the power switch, was well, very good. Battery health, and just more about Windows Hello. I don't think this one has face recognition though. And then we have a card, just an empty card, just to make it match a bit more, because Microsoft did put a lot of effort into this box, you can tell. More sort of languages and all in Intel spec Wi Fi. This is is the brand new one. I think this is 10th gen, so it seems to be a okay. So it gives you an in depth look of how how it works. And then just take out this, could be something there. No, they didn't put any grayness on the inside. That's because most people would do that. And I'm just thinking, so we'll cut here now. And then we'll open up the laptop and turn it on. Hi guys. So now we that we've let the laptop charge. I'm gonna use a separate mouse for this, my razor bias ultimate. As I have inboxed before, I think. And um we're gonna be doing up the set process, just showing you how easy it is. So we're gonna just click we are United Kingdom report if you bought this in the United States or that go for the United States for you. So what we want to do is just click yes, but if it isn't, just scroll down, select your language, so on and so forth. That's pretty Hi easy. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Yeah. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. That's good time now, obviously. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. I might switch you off. Bye-bye, Cortana. Your region... There we are. We just switch off Cortana. Practically useless. No one uses her. So now we want more, more region we're in. Well, United Kingdom. So yes, I am British. And I don't say bottle of water. I say bottle of water. Leave me alone. So now, right, keyboard layout. So it will give different Dvorak, left-handed, right-handed, so on and so forth. And then now you want to click United Kingdom. Okay. Do you want a second keyboard layout? You might, but I don't. I'm going to just click just a moment. It's going to ask me to connect to a Wi Fi. Going to click connect. And now I am going to cut, put in the Wi Fi password, and then I'll be back. Okay, now guys, so just put in my Wi Fi password, obviously. Connecting and secured with my Wi Fi network. Next. So I want to comment as well. That this this keyboard is luscious. I have no clue why I'm using a secondary mouse. I don't know why I'm using my Razor Bad Ultimate for this. It's just easier. But honestly, the trackpad on this is smooth. Honestly. This has the best sort of feel ever. You would enjoy typing on this, not gonna lie. So it's gonna now go update and whatnot so it's going to just see what's new from windows and we're just going to guess that's an update also i'm using a ring light for the first time because i am recording by myself oh my god we have the windows license agreement except sign my life away as everyone else does because like why not so now it's just going to say just a moment you, you know the drill with windows what is your email I'm going to check in the email I want of choice. There we are. Do we have a password for that? Yes. So just going to... Might just cover the bottom half of the screen. What do you mean? I'm going to fill password attempts later. Obviously, you know where I'm at. I have so many passwords I could go through, it's ridiculous. I don't know if I'm using the right account or not. 
Hmm. Well, since this is not my personal account, this is for someone else, I'm just going to click skip for now. I do not actually know the password. I thought I did. So, um, I'm going to just let this go ahead. Do we want Microsoft Apps next? I just said I can't. <sighs> okay. So yeah, this is quite annoying. Um, well, that worked. I do know the password. <laughs> Fingerprint. We'll skip that for now. I don't know how I got the password, but. I didn't even know the password, I just tried every single knowledgeable one I know about. So, like, yeah. Quit pin. Hi, everyone. So, we have an issue. The footage didn't fully record because I'm editing today, this is why I'm wearing different clothes, different day. So, um, I've realized that. Half the footage is gone, but I'll give you a brief overview of what happens. It'll ask you to go through Office 365 and ask for the internet. You probably have seen that. So it's pretty simple. But I'm just going to record this just to say um, I'm very sorry for not being able to record everything today. And the issue is that my camera must have died doing it or something like that. Or it could have been corrupted. But that's all right. But I want to just say thank you for watching for the, that video. And... I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you.